You're listening to the Electronic Media Collective Podcast Network. Yeah, it's a mouthful. For more great shows like the one you're about to enjoy, visit electronicmediacollective.com. And now, our feature presentation. Howdy do, buckaroos, and welcome to Comics with My Kids podcast, the official podcast for the comics cornerbox.blogspot.com. I'm your host, Matt D. And today we have Logan D. Welcome, listeners, to our fourth installment of our summer reading promotion. We are reviewing Action Cat and Adventure Bug Comics 1 through 4, written by Art Balthazar and Franco, with art by Art Balthazar. Art by Art. Art, 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 Art. Artie Art. You got it, Dad. It's action time with some fun characters and some really great art. Okay, Logan. Can you give our listeners a summary of the first issue? Sure thing. The issue starts with an opening of a comic shop called All Yeah Comics. And, uh, there, and the main characters work there, like, while they're under disguise, and their names are Hammond, Cornelius, and... Aloysius. How do you say uh, that? It's Aloysius, but they spell it like aw yeah, but it's like Aloysius. Wait, is it, that his actual name? That's his actual name. You find that out more in issue, I want to say three, when they're sitting out when they're sitting at home. But we won't oh, skip wait, no. that far ahead. Right there. He does say, yes, Cornelius, Aloysius. And of course, Cornelius is Action Cat, and Aloysius is Adventure Bug, and Hammond is... A bear. A bear. Who's barely got any um, ha ha. Su- superhero powers, right? Ha ha. <laughs> All right, buddy. So it starts off in, in the in the Oh Yeah comic shop of Skokie, Illinois. Then what happens? Then uh, the bad... What's his name? Shoot. Well, what's going on in the comic shop? Uh, they're getting a new delivery of comics. Yep, because it's new comic book day. Everybody likes New Comic Book Day that listens to this podcast, I bet. Yeah. All right, so it's New Comic Book Day. They get a delivery. And who's delivering the, and their awesome comic books? Alice. Yep. And what is Alice? She's a... Uh, she looks just like... Uh, Aloysius, except she has um, pink instead of red on her face. Wait, I thought Cornelius was Action Cat and Aloysius was the bug. I thought it was the other way around. Oh, okay. I don't know. Either way, she looks like Action Cat, right? Yes. Cool. So then they're getting the delivery, and what happens next? Evil Cat comes in behind them. Evil Cat. So we've got we've got the secret identity of Action Cat. We've got the secret identification identity of... The girl action cat, and now we have Evil Cat. So, what does Evil Cat want to do? He wants to uh, turn him into a lizard with his new lizard gun. What? A lizard gun? Yeah. How does that happen? I mean, what? what who would have thought of a lizard gun? Does it shoot lizards? It turns things into lizards. Oh, things or people? People. Uh, so, then what happens? Then, um, uh, Alice disappears, and then, uh, the girl action cat comes in through the window and deals with the bad guy. Now, does anybody else know that, that, uh, Alice is action cat? No. Or female action cat? Don't they have a little tiff when the real, quote, 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 real action cat shows up? When the what? Don't they have a little spat when the real action cat come, shows up? Yeah. So how does that happen? Uh, he com- he comes in, and- but by the time he gets there, uh, it's already dealt with, and he's tied up in a box. Who's tied up in the box? Evil cat. Ah, evil cat. Yes. What kind of box is he tied up in? Is he tied up in a litter box? Comic box. Ah. So what happens now that he's tied up in the in the, in the comic box? Uh, he reaches out and grabs the lizard gun and starts shooting at them. Okay. And hits uh, Adventure Bug. And what happens to Adventure Bug? He glows green, and then it flips panels, 
and uh, Action Cat gets hit. Okay. And then what happens? And then um, the bear tells him g- stuff that I have a business to run, and he gets hit, in a- and you can see it glow on the side, but you can't see what's happening. Gotcha. Because it happens off frame. And what's the end of the panel say? To be continued. That's right, because it leaves it off on a on a cliffhanger. Yeah. Although, what's weird is the other side is still in this book. Right, because it's it's written kind of like a classic cartoon. So, all of a sudden, that leaves off on a cliffhanger. And then we come back to another story called Spot versus Marquad. 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 Mar, M-A-R, Quaid. So it's Mark Wade. Mark Wade. All right, so what happens? So what do we got here? We got Action Bug, and then we don't know what's going on with him because he's been turned into a lizard, and we, we shift stories, and we're now checking out uh, Spot, who's this, this like intergalactic dog who's fighting a... Lobster. It's a lobster? How, yeah. how do we know he's a lobster, not a crab? Because he has too many arms. Well, that, and he has a tail, because crabs don't have tails, but lobsters do. Yeah. So what happens? Tell me the story. So, um, McQuad has this, like, um, rock that has a crystal inside of it that is, like, really powerful. And, um, then the good guy kicks it through a portal and it go, and they don't know where it went. Ah, but we can, but we can see that it went through that portal to planet Earth. And then what happens? We then cut from that story to... Back to Adventure Bug. Right. And now Adventure Bug is what? Adventure Bug Lizard? Uh, He's Adventure Lizard. Okay. So what does Adventure Lizard do? Uh, He's hungry, so he looks up to see what they eat and finds out that they eat bugs. Oh, no. And he's a bug. But what else does he find out? He reads up more on it and finds out that um, they can shed their skin. And so he takes his skin off and he's beneath it. That's right. He's back to Adventure Bug just because of some some scientific proof that they can shed their skin. He uses that to, to change back. So now that we go from Action action Lizard back to Action Cat. Action Cat's lapped, wrapped up and looks like a mummy. And then um, he takes it off and he is now a lizard. And he still has his super superpowers. So what does he got to do now? I mean, he's stuck as a lizard, but he still has a superpower. So how is he? How is he going to continue to live the way he normally lives? Um. Will he ever get back to being Action Cat? And then it cuts the scene, uh, or it goes over to Evil Cat, and he goes by and starts turning everything to lizards, or everyone to lizards, and then. He zaps the guy, and the lizard gun doesn't work on him. Why doesn't the lizard gun work on him? No one knows. Wasn't the guy already green? So? Maybe he's already a lizard. That goes, E. No, maybe he's just goofy. All right, so now Either that, that or he's immune. <laughs> so now that we've got, uh, we got evil cat running around town, zapping everybody, turning him into lizards, what happens next? Um, Action Cat comes, find out what happened, and went to... Um, Go fight Evil Cat, and Evil Cat does not like what he did to um, Action Cat because he thinks he looks bad. And they find out that um, Evil Cat could not get turn Action or the Action Cat girl into Lizard, and so he hit her with Blizzard mode. So and so now a, she's frozen solid. A Blizzard and a Lizard gun. So Lizard mm-hmm. Blizzard gun. And, um, then what he does is right before he, and he's about to shoot. Who's he? Um, Evil Cat's about to shoot Action Lizard with the, um, gun. But then Action Lizard uses his tongue last second and reverses it so then he becomes back to normal. Nice. The old switcheroo switch on the Lizard gun, huh? Yeah. And then, um... They thawed out uh, the girl action cat, and um, then they flew, and then she flew away. Okay. And then that's the end of the story? 
And then, uh, they come back into the co- in the comic shop, and he says, and Hammond says, do you notice anything different? And they were, they aren't really paying attention because he used a lizard gun on himself. And, um, he turned himself into a lizard and they weren't, they weren't even paying attention. No. Nice. So is that the end of issue one then? No. Because then there's another story. Would you like to tell this one? Okay, so the next story is on Meteor Might. And it's a little short story in the in the Action Cats uh, comic. And it talks about Meteor Might and his girlfriend, Dottie. And she gets hit by some weird meteorite, right? And it causes her to grow to an enormous size. Uh, Meteor Might changes to his super identity. And flies around the world to turn back time, it looks like. Or, I think. No, because he touches the crystals and then he gains his superpowers. Ah, so he becomes suit Meteor Might. I see. Yeah, I didn't read this short story. Because it wasn't in my copy. It wasn't? No. I thought you had the same book as me. Well, I didn't read the I didn't read the individual issues. I read the collected edition. But we were, but we had the same comic. Yeah, I didn't pick up the issues. I had borrowed the collected edition off the library and oh. read the digital version. So my story actually stopped with uh, Action Cat. So this is a, like a little bonus thing if you buy the individual issues. Which, if you're interested in buying the individual issues of Action Cat and Adventure Bug, check out All Yeah Comics at allyeahcomics.com, and you can pick up back issues there of Action Cat and Adventure Bug. So, Logan, that was issue one. What's your general idea of issues two through four? How did you like those? Were they just as fun? Was the story fun for you as it was for me? It was. I liked um, all all the other issues as much as the first issue. Okay. What do you think of the art styles of Art Balth- Balthazar? I know we've we've read quite a few books from him, but what what's your general feeling? How do you what what do you like about his art? I like it. Okay, can you kind of describe it for our listeners? I mean, yes, I'll have a few shots of it in our in our show notes, but can you describe what you're looking at? Kind of like give them a, an idea of what the art style's like. It's really it's um like a cartoon, but if you look in the background, there is some things that look really realistic, like when he's stocking his shelves or or when he's dusting off the comics. You can see what looks like a realistic comic of this comic and a realistic looking doll. Awesome. But the broom he's looking looks like a comic book. So it's like they use some digital mass media thing or multimedia thing. Yeah. But what about art st- style in general? You said it's like it's like a cartoon, right? Yeah. Is it kind of in the same lines as say Teen Titans Go, or is it more like um, Dogman? Uh, I'd say Teen Titans Go. Okay. Yeah, because it's it's definitely more defined. A lot. A lot more. Uh, definition to the art style whereas you know dog man kind of looks more like kids drew it this is definitely you know a more experienced um art line yeah all right buddy well we have our other three books that we could dive into the whole story and you could probably kind of give us a a a breakdown of each issue but we're going to condense that and i'm just going to ask you what some of the what's the rest of the story some of the other stories like so Issue two is about um, Action Cat going up with his arch nemesis called Reaction Cat, who's a clone of him, but is like the but he always wants to be the opposite. So kind of like Superman and Bizarro. Bizarro's a clone of Superman, but he's kind of like the reverse of him. I don't know who Bizarro is. Just, just yeah, it's it's pretty much the same thing. Okay. Anyways, uh, so. In that one, he fights Reaction Cat. Then in the third book, he comes across this tooth that, like, he becomes friends with. Where'd the tooth come from? Uh, from one of the monsters he fought. Do you remember the name of the monster? No. Do you remember the name of the tooth? No. I thought it was, like, a uni-something or other, like a unicorn monster. No, because the monster was green. Yeah, but he had a unicorn head. Oh. Anyways, so that one was him with the tooth, and then the last one, I don't want to spoil. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right, well, so our scale is 
buy, borrow, or forget about it. Now, we, we bought our copies at the Northwest Indiana Comic Con where we get to meet Art Balthazar, and he signed our issues, and, and we really enjoy Art Balthazar. He's probably one of our top, what, three um, yeah, definitely. creators in, in, the, in the house. Um, so I'm going to guess you've already said that you're going to say buy on the book. Am I close? Bingo. All right. Red right well, money. Why should somebody buy Art's books? Uh, I find them very interesting and fun to read. Okay, are they chuck full of jokes or just uh, like a handful of jokes? What do you what do you what uh, what brings you back? What, what keeps bringing you back uh, to the book? Well, I like there's not too many jokes in there. Um, but I just like the way the story goes. Okay. Cool. It's a good. It's a well written story. Yep. I like how each issue he is like a, a a bad guy of the of the month. So you get to you get to see him go up against different rogues or different bad guys in the in the storybook. And each story kind of progresses the character more and more. And like you, buddy, I, I'm saying it's a buy because Art's books are fun to read for anybody at any age. It's got a lot of cool jokes in there for for any age group. There's a lot of there's a couple of dad jokes in there that I really liked. So, and I like the way that he uses names and stuff to kind of poke fun at things like Mark Quaid. <laughs> All right. Well, is there any other thing you want to add about um, the action cat and adventure bug? No. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to add? Well, if you're going to buy the books, I would suggest again, checking out all. Yeah. Comics. Um, and Skokie, Illinois, as well as their website, allyakcomics.com. And if you're a Northwest Indiana listener, check out Screaming Monkey Comics, where you can get your own copies of Ad Action Cat and Adventure Bug. Just ask for John, and he'll try to hook you up. Well, folks, thanks for listening to this episode of Comics with My Kids podcast. Check out more episodes at the comicscornerbox.blogspot.com. Leave us a rating or review at Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or Podchaser. Follow us on Twitter at all. Follow us on Twitter for all our episode posts and news at Comics with with Kids. Also check out our Facebook page, Comics with My Kids. And finally, you can email our show at Comics with My Kids Podcast at gmail.com. And we'll put your name in a drawing for free comics. That's right. We're still giving away free comics. We have all these stacks of comics that we're giving away free. And it could be yours, listener. All you have to do is just email in our show. And we'll put you in a list to send you free comics. We hope you enjoyed this episode of our summer reading promotion. Check out our website for the full list of this, this summer's books. Tune in next week. For our b next book, Teen Titans Go, Trade Paperback Volume One, and send us a, your in, and send us your opinions of the book too. Yeah, you can click on the voicemail link on our episode on our website post and send us an audio clip, and we'll play it for you on the show. You can be part of this show. Thank you, and have a glorious night, or morning, or day, or afternoon, <laughs> or midnight. By that time between midnight and morning. So, folks, thanks for listening to episode... <laughs> Back that up a little bit. Meep, meep, <laughs> meep.